we go deeper on subjects. Like, so like, we get through the lesson a little bit quicker, and so we go a little bit deeper into a lot of the content as well. Advanced is the word I'm going to use. What? You actually have five more tests in the other class. Wait, no, you I have a
Subtract 2x from each side, that is equal to x minus 20, plus you must raise that f plus we get, add 20, we get 30 to equal x, or x to equal 30, okay? We're not done there yet. We need to find C, A, D, the full thing. Hey, wait, do we have something that's equal to C, A, D right now? Do we plug into? Not quite, but can we plug into something else and then figure it out? Yeah, can we plug it? Go ahead. Okay, <laughs> 2 times 30. So you're saying plug it in here? Yeah, and then get 70, and then you take 3 times 30 plus 20, so it's 70. So you said plug it in here, too. You don't even have to 70 do that. plus, I mean, 70 and 70, and then you add them to get C, A, B, and it's over. If there are heat, there's going to be a bunch of stuff. <coughs> there, so it's well, I like it. So, Riley said, hey, let's plug it into each of these individually. So we plug it in the left one, plug it in the right one, add them together, 70 plus 70. The measure Ooh. of angle C, A, D is 140 degrees. Taylor, what were you saying? You could do what? It says they're equal together. You can just find what you get the 140. Okay. They're equal because they're both congruent. They're both half of the big angle. So we can find this one to be 70 degrees, and you can double it to get 140. Could we also check our work, though, just to make sure that they're both 72? Sure. No. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So you can find one and double it. You can find both and add them. Okay. Questions on that? Okay. On this one, a okay, similar setup. We have gray AB bisecting again. Ew, no. Too bad. Okay. Um, now this time we're also asked to find X and the measure of angle CAD. So we're still asked to find the same thing. Okay, we're still asked to find X and we're still asked to find the big angle. This time though, we're given something different. We're given, we're given that CAB is X plus five. What else are we given now? 4x minus 12. But what is 4x minus 12? Is that the whole thing or is that the other half? That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. So now we're told the whole thing is 4x minus 12. What kind of equation could we do here, though? Okay? Green, what are you thinking? X plus 5. X plus 5 equals 4x minus 12. Explain your logic there. Ah, angle one and angle two are the same measure because its angle is bisected. So if this angle one is x plus five, then we know this angle also has a measure of x plus five. So you can take x plus five plus x plus five and set it equal to the whole thing. Does that make sense? How would you set it up? Taylor's <laughs> proposing two parentheses x plus five is equal to 4x minus 12, okay? Let's take a look at that. Let's say we have two of these, okay? Let's say we have two of these. So if we were to solve it this way, we distribute, two times x is 2x, 
2 times 5 is 10. We're left with 2x plus 10 on the left side. Down here, x plus x is 2x, 5 plus 5 is 10. So do we end up with the same thing on the left side of the equation there? Uh, totally divided by 2. Yeah. You also could totally divide by 2 <laughs> and uh, not Well, uh, just to be extra complicated. Hey. On which part? Why would you put x plus 5 here? Twice? Why? Right here? Do not be sure the whole right. part thing. But it says only C A B is equal to x plus 5. Well, we know these two angles are congruent since A B or A B bisects the same. So, if these two angles are different, they have equal measures. So, if this measures x plus 5, so does this one. Does that make more sense? Good question. Jaws on. Uh, and once you have this one, once you finish solving for x and for the measure angle CAD, measure angle CAD, um, raise your hand, okay? Oh. Make sure to label these. Degrees. That's your own call. I mean, I guess you, <coughs> you played. You played them. You played them. <coughs> 
Um, questions on this one. Let's talk about the idea of adjacent angles. Adjacent angles. What's adjacent mean? That they're not next to each other. Like they're next to each other. They're next to each other. If they're adjacent, they're next to each other, okay? Evan and Kayla are adjacent in their desk, okay? Rowan and Taylor are adjacent in their desk, okay? Questions on that idea of adjacent? No? Cool, okay? So adjacent means they have a common slash shared side. For angles, they have a common side or a shared side, and they also have a common vertex. They have a common side and a common vertex. They're two angles that are next to each other here, okay? So if I go in here and I call this point C, if I add that in, and I call this right here, a point over here, W, what is the side that they have in common and they share? It's ray CW. Ray CW would be our common side there, okay? And what would be the common vertex here? C. Point C, very good, okay? So we have these two angles right here and here would be uh, adjacent angles. Okay, they would be adjacent angles. They are not necessarily congruent. They can be, but they are not necessarily congruent. Like right here, Okay. Um, right here, they're marked. This has two marks and one arc. So are these marks be congruent or not congruent? Not, not congruent. Not congruent. They're different numbers of arcs. Okay. So they are not always congruent. Sometimes they are, but they are not always. Okay. Adjacent angles just mean they're next to each other. So they have to share a vertex and one of their sides. Okay. Questions on that? Okay. Another angle pair relation we'll talk about are vertical angles. Okay. Vertical angles. They share a vertex as well, so they also share a vertex. Their sides make two straight lines. Their sides make two straight lines. They are across from each other, and they are always 100% of the time congruent. I'm just gonna draw that symbol in there. Hey, um, so here, for example, the angles in the red here, those would be a pair of vertical angles, okay? They share a vertex. What vertex do they share? E. Point E. Okay? Their sides make two straight lines. Their sides make two straight lines, okay? Another thing I like to say is the sides, um, they make two straight lines, or I like to say they make an X. The sides make an X, okay? So if you look at the two sides of the angle here, um, like I, or ray EI and ray EG, those make a straight line, okay? EI and EG make a straight line together. EF and EH make a straight line together. So the sides of the angles make two straight lines. I like to say they make an X though, okay? They make an X, and you see look right here? It's an X. Why is it so far? Okay. Just to make you ask that question, you can raise your hand and play next to it. Those would be only two points, okay? Um, and so it's a fact that they're always gonna be across from each other, so they can't be adjacent if they're across from each other. Or the other, they're always going to be across from each other, um, opposite each other, and they're always 100 times going to be congruent. So if these first things are true, the first three things are true, uh, they share a vertex. There's two sides make um, straight lines or an X, and they're across from each other. They are going to be congruent 100 of the time. And it's also true for these blue angles here, top and the bottom, for those to be vertical angles. Okay, Rachel. Will that ever be tested? No, like a school policy. Yeah, yes. people are strong. Yes. Oh, yeah. People literally make everything easier. No, we're on the discussion. Uh, whoa. Okay. 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 So here, these two angles, the one on the left and the right, would be what kind of angles? A pair of? We are not on the same Parallel or perpendicular. Are you talking about the line? Oh, um, these two angles, the one on the left and the one on the right, would be a pair of what angles, Kevin? They would be congruent, but they're what kind of angles that we just learned? Oh, they're, not, they're oh, vertical. I heard someone say vertical. Okay? We know they're vertical because they share a vertex. If we look at the sides, they make an X there. The sides make an X. 
and they are opposite each other. And because of all those things, we know that they are congruent. Ooh. Could we find x now if we know they're congruent? Possibly. How? 3 and x add up. Set them equal to each other. We hear congruent. Congruent means that the measures are equal. Congruent means measures are equal. So we should, whenever we hear the word congruent, uh, we should have alarms, cowbells going off in our head, okay? Saying, hey, set them equal to each other, right, Betsy? Yeah. Right, totally, okay? So we have 3x plus 20 is equal to 10x minus 15. Because they are vertical angles, they're congruent. Because they're congruent, we can set them equal to each other and solve, okay? So go ahead and solve that one. Solve so what? I don't think she said time frame. She said plot. So. Check people, I guess. When you're done, or any questions, raise your hand. When you're done, or any questions, raise your hand. Yes. Okay. 
Very good, very good. Okay, so that's exactly what we do, okay? We add up the two angles to 180. We say, hey, if they add to 180, we're going to add to 180. We do exactly what it says. We add them plus to 180, equal 180. Question on that? Do you know how to solve this kind of equation? I think so. Okay, let's move on. Okay. We're talking about these different types of angles. We so far have linear pair, vertical angles, and adjacent angles, okay? Linear pair, vertical, adjacent, okay? We also talked about the idea of being supplementary um, just now as well, okay? Um, I don't have any flow sheet you can take in there. Huh? Like, I'll ask you about like, the SAP one. People ask me. So, on example 27, we have these five different angles, one, two, three, four, five. I'm messing with them in the same order, okay? Um, you have to state whether this pair, like four and five, whether it be a linear pair, they'd be vertical angles, or whether they're neither, okay? Whether it's a linear pair, vertical angles, or neither, okay? You will use each of these three at least once, okay? You will use each of those three once, and then one of them twice. All the guys will be able to walk through those, A, B, and C, and D, okay? So, example four, angle four and five, would that be a linear pair, vertical angle, or neither? Okay, so like write that down. We don't need to do A, B, C, A, and B. Okay, when you're done, or our questions, raise that hand. Okay, when you're done, our questions, raise that hand. talk about this one up here. Okay, so angles four and five down here, this would be which one? Uh, that'd be a linear pair, okay? That'd be a linear pair. So angles four and five right here, they are adjacent. They share this vertex. They share this side, okay? And they are supplementary. They make a straight line together. Okay, that's 180. So that's a linear pair. On a letter B, angles four and angle three, what about that? Vertical. That'd be vertical angles, okay? These would be vertical angles. Okay. Okay? You look at that. There's sides. If you, if you just like hold the pen over that, boom, makes a line. Boom, makes a line, okay? Boom, X. So it's like, and it's an X there, okay? And they are opposite each other, and they share a vertex. So they are vertical angles. Fun fact about vertical angles, they are also on... Ruin, okay? Sarah. Why do any two ends have vertical lines? That's a mistake. Okay. Those should have vertical lines. Good question. <laughs> Letter C, two and four, what would this be? Neither. Neither, okay? It's not a linear pair because they're not adjacent. Okay, one's between 
the two. They're not next to each other. One's between them, okay? Um, just like uh, Kayla is not adjacent to Alyssa because Evan's between them, okay? Same idea there. Um, and they're not vertical angles because their sides don't make an X, okay? This side does, but no, nope, that doesn't, okay? That's not a straight line there, okay? Um, they can't be vertical angles either. Let's look at one and five. What about these two? No. Those are going to be neither as well, okay? So even though they're opposite each other, like vertical angles should be, and they share the vertex like vertical angles should, if we fold this over, that side makes, these two sides make a straight line, but here, uh, it doesn't quite complete it, okay? So it doesn't make an X there, okay? So it's not vertical angles, and it wasn't a linear pair either. <laughs> Questions on those? Okay? Right below this, talking about this idea of uh, complementary and supplementary, okay? So you said supplementary on the right side means they add up to what number? 180, okay? Complementary is going to be a similar idea, okay? Complementary is going to be a similar idea. They're going to add up to what, a, what measure do we think? 90 degrees. I heard the guess there, and that's correct. They add up to 90 degrees, okay? If we look over here, we actually see one of my favorite posters in here. It's really cheesy, okay? Complementary angles. These two angles, angle B and angle A. I like that you're a good friend. I like the way you always help me. Get it? They're complementing each other. Isn't that clever? Okay? And they add up to 90 degrees. Okay? So they don't have to be congruent, even though they are in that picture. Uh, but I just love that poster, okay? We're actually not going to draw pictures of these because it just has to be adding up to 90, has to be adding up to 180, okay? Um, what was that? Why is it A and A? I don't know. Okay? Um, we're going to skip letter A. Yay. We're gonna do letter B. If this is 26 degrees, do we do raise your hand if you know one more angle? Okay. Uh, Jocelyn. B is B is B is what? 26. Very good. Okay. Because they're congruent, what kind of angles are those? Vertical angles, okay? They're opposite each other. They share a vertex. Their sides make an X, so they're congruent. Can we figure out A and C from this? Yes. Sure. Add. add what? 26. Okay, not quite. Uh, ooh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. Don't let them tell you. Don't let them tell you. Try again, baby. Isn't that like a 180 line? This is 180 degrees right here, right? So then you gotta like. Gotta go 180, subtract by 26. So yeah. like, boom, I wrote. So 154, okay. And what do we know about angle A and angle C? They're congruent. They're congruent because they're also vertical angles. They're off each other. They share a vertex. Their sides make an X, okay. So I put two arcs around there, not just the one arc, right? Yeah. So those are 154 degrees as well. So we used vertical angles to know that. Questions on that? Okay. Look down at letter C with me, okay? Here, what kind of angles are these? Uh, they're vertical. Vertical. Why do we know they're vertical, Graydon? They share the same vertex. Share the same they vertex. They make an X. And they're adjacent. And they're opposite. opposite yeah. They're not adjacent. They're opposite. So what would we do with those? Um, cancel that. Set them equal. Because these angles are con. Through what? Meaning they have equal energy. So you can set them equal to each other. Could we solve that from there? Yeah. We're not going to, but we could. Okay, this one, letter D here, letter D here, okay? So we look at letter D, excuse me, okay? Um, 3x minus 5 and x plus 15, okay? And y plus 20 and 4y minus 15. Here we're asked to find x and y. So, so we're have, probably going to have to use how many different equations here? Two. Two, one for x and one for y, okay? For x, what kind of angle pair relationship are we using? Vertical. Vertical, okay? So we'd set them. Equal. equal means they're congruent, okay? For the blue, for y, what kind of angle pair would we be using? That's a linear, That's a linear pair. pair. Two angles pair that add up to be a line, 180, and they're um, adjacent. So what would we add these two? B, 180. Let's set them equal to each other. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I just went pretty quickly though. Let's talk about these equations, okay? Let's write these equations down together to make sure I got a, I we're on the same page because I think I went. So somebody tell me the equation we use for the x's there. Kevin. 3x minus 5 equals x plus 15. Okay, we use 3x minus 5 equals x plus 15. Very good. They're congruent since they're vertical angles, okay? So we could solve that equation, find x. Somebody tell me the equation we'd use for y. Riley. Uh, 
Why is there so many pairs of no line on the continuous pair? Very good, because those are a linear pair and they add up to 180. So we add the two to 180, okay? Then we would solve for y from there. Okay? Oh. Questions on that? No. Okay. Repeat again. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually pass it on over. Hey, let's say I went too quickly over that last section, okay? A couple different options you could do. Look at the video. We still have a few minutes left in class. So you could ask me, okay? Um, you could ask a neighbor next to you real quick, okay? There's a couple different options there for you that are available, okay? Come in later. Come in later, yep. You come in during study hall, come after school, come in before school Monday, before school Tuesday, okay? Hey, we don't have class, uh, Tomorrow, because we don't have school tomorrow. When's our next class, guys? Tuesday. 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 I don't know. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday in their next class. Okay? So that's going to be when this homework is due, okay? Hey, heads up, just so you guys can kind of gear up ahead of time, okay? Next week, we don't have school on Friday. We don't have class, excuse me, on Friday either. Because that is what day, guys? Oko. Oko, and it's Devil Mania, right? Okay? So next Friday is Devil Mania, okay? So we don't have classes on that day. We do have school, but no classes, okay? All day events, okay? So that's pretty litty. Okay? Technically, only one. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. Okay. So on the horizon, if you look at it in your notepad, you'll know that we only have one session left. We'll do that section on Super Tide Tuesday. Next Thursday, we will review. The following uh, Tuesday, okay, the following Tuesday, we'll be taking our test, okay? So that's like a week and a half from now. So a week and a half from now, okay? If we have class on Thursday, we should No, Friday. <laughs> yes, Kevin. Uh, we only gave it to three and four. Every time, right? Thank you very much. Can I eat? Yeah. 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 Okay, on number five, you might have to do some combining of the pictures. You might have to use one angle from one picture, one angle from the other, to do another five, okay? That's number five, not whatever. I know. Wait, wait, wait.